Hey everyone, yes, I personally typed and made over 6,000 flashcards over the course of a year, and I learned a lot. Most of it the hard way, but I'm gonna let you in on some of the secrets that you can only learn after making so many flashcards and spending so many hours on Anki. Some of it could improve your efficiency and studying effectiveness like crazy. So let's jump right into it. So tip number one is don't overcomplicate it. With Anki, there is virtually an endless amount of flashcards and programs and trackers and add-ons, all this stuff that you can add to there. But at the end of the day, it's just a flashcard app. You really only need to use three types of flashcards and I'm gonna show you what they are. First, you have closed deletion, which basically allows you to hide words. And this is really good for numerical flashcards or definitions, you know, very straightforward and simple ask and answer. Secondly, you have image occlusion. It was single-handedly the reason why I got above a 98% on every anatomy lab test that I took, and there were over 100 terms that I had to know. All you have to do is input a picture, and then you can cover each of the terms in each of the arrows pointing to different parts of the body. And finally, the old faithful, the basic flashcard. Look, ask, term on one, definition on the other. It's simple, stupid, great advice, Hurts my feelings every time. Do not spend more time writing up all these fancy flashcards when you can just spend that time memorizing the information. If you want to learn how to make these specific types of flashcards, I have another video linked right down below in the description. Coming in at tip number two, and I suffer from this greatly, and it is please finish all of your reviews. Guys, I, I struggle from this all the time, and this kills me. So why am I saying this? Well, let's say you have 100 flashcards that you have to review today, and then you only review 95 of them. Those five flashcards that you did not review are gonna get pushed to the next day. This messes up the algorithm because it doesn't know where to place them because you should have known them that day. In the short term, this is not an issue, but after about a week, it really starts to pile up and make your life pretty miserable. So don't be like me and do yourself a favor and do all of your reviews. Coming in at tip number three, and this is a little controversial, and that is do not use any pre-made decks. Look, if you're studying for the MCAT that's two years away, it's okay to use a pre-made deck because those are like 20,000 flashcards. I've even seen 40,000 flashcard decks. But if you're studying for a specific class, you really need to make your own flashcards because there are tons of evidence and articles out there showing that making your flashcards or typing out your flashcards makes a huge difference in terms of recall. And the best part is you don't have to filter around, delete, and add flashcards to fit the needs of your class. You can just make them straight up. And finally, number four is to pay attention to your statistics. Now, the developers of Anki spent a lot of time making the statistics and they didn't do it for no reason, obviously. Make sure to do your research and understand what each of the things mean and how you can adjust your decks based off of the information you're being given. Obviously, the most important statistic you'll see is your retention. Now, personally, I like to have my retention above 85 because you always remember that the higher the retention is, the more your workload is because you have to review each of them before the forgetting curve. And nursing school is all about finding a balance between how much time you study and how effective it is. That will do it for today, everyone. If you found this video somewhat helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. That would really help the channel out. Remember to study hard, study smart, and I'll see you guys next time.